Hey golf people, on today's video, I'm ranking golf club brands from best to worst and everything in between. We're gonna take a look at all the big golf club manufacturers as well as some of the boutique golf club manufacturers out there. We're gonna have some fun today. This is all about fun. I know some people might have their feelings hurt if I don't rank their golf clubs exactly where they think they should be ranked, but this is my opinion, my personal opinion, and I'd love to hear yours down below in the comments as well. All right, guys, let's start off with Cobra here. Cobra is a brand that is really starting to improve, in my opinion, in terms of creativity, in terms of design, in terms of the materials they are experimenting with. I really loved the Rad Speed line, and I really like what they were doing with their putter line using 3D printed materials. I've got a lot of great videos on Cobra. I am definitely putting them in the would buy category here, guys. Next brand up is Wilson. Now, Wilson is a little bit of an anomaly because it has a number of brands underneath its umbrella. Wilson itself has the Ultra brand and a few other brands, and for me, that's a big nah, nah. Now, on the flip side, Wilson also has Wilson staff, and that is a whole nother ball game. I really like the D9 irons. I really like what they're doing with their blades and their forged cavity backs. Beautiful, beautiful clubs. I would absolutely buy those clubs, and in fact, I play a Wilson staff myself, so I certainly would buy. That's going in the would buy category. Next one up here is Miura. Now, Miura is kind of a boutique brand. It's Japanese, and they use some nice forgings. This is something I would definitely try. I would certainly try Miura. I think what holds a lot of people back is the price, but it's definitely worth trying. Next brand up here is going to be PXG. PXG is a contentious brand in a lot of ways. A lot of people think it's just super overpriced clubs. And then you've got the veterans and people who are first responders who really think they're getting great deals from PXG and really like that brand story. Forgetting all of that, I'm just going to rank them in terms of what I think they do for golf and for golf club technology. And I really do think they are extremely innovative and they, again, are really trying to push the boundaries. So PXG, absolutely, I would put that in the would try category, uh, potentially in the would buy category as well, in fact, you know what, I am gonna put them in the would buy category because I bought one of their drivers and I gamed it for about a month earlier this year before I changed again. So we're gonna put PXG in the would buy category. Scotty Cameron putters. Scotty Cameron putters. If you've never heard of Scotty Cameron, you must be living on a desert island somewhere. Scotty makes some of the best putters in the business. The milling on these things are beautiful. I remember the old Futura line of putters, which was extremely impressive back in the day. Absolutely would buy Scotty Cameron putters. And in fact, you know what? We're gonna go ahead and put them up here in the pure class. Absolutely some of the best putters on the market. Next up here is gonna be Mizuno, a fan favorite on this channel for sure. Absolutely incredible clubs. It's close for me, man. Uh, pure class or wood buy. I'm definitely gonna put it in the wood buy category, certainly, but solid, solid clubs. The JPX line, obviously the blades, and their drivers are extremely, extremely good as well. We're gonna put Mizuno in the wood buy category. Ping, Ping classic brand. In terms of irons, not an iron I would necessarily play personally, but for many out there, they're extremely forgiving. They've got lots of different options in terms of setup. Really the first company that created the custom fitting process, if you look back in Ping's history, absolutely would buy a Ping, no doubt about it, especially their putter line, fantastic. Next brand up here is Cleveland Golf. To me, has started to really fade over the years. I used to love their wedges when you had Roger Cleveland designing them, but of course he moved on from Cleveland, his own namesake company. And throughout the years, Cleveland has started to really go kind of downhill. I'm gonna go ahead and put them here in the meh category. Um, We'll see what they do here in 2022 and beyond. Next up is their sister brand there, Srixon. My father actually picked Srixon irons when I took them for a custom club fitting last year. Srixon definitely making some big strides. I would absolutely try Srixon. I think it's certainly worth giving it a shot. They don't seem to update their clubs like some of the other manufacturers. I don't know if that's a good or bad thing. Uh, They're sticking by their designs and models, but I would like to see a little bit more innovation out of there, but I would certainly try them. Titleist, Titleist really encompassing of the Vokey line, really Scotty Cameron's under this line. 
They have been making really great irons for a very long time. I would absolutely put Titleist in the wood buy category, which is starting to really fill up. <laughs> Maybe I just like everything. Well, here's one that is an interesting one, Yonix. Now, Yonix to me is like a tennis and racket manufacturer, but they do make golf clubs. Um, you know, are their golf clubs any good? Are their designs unique? For me, not necessarily. I'm gonna go ahead and put that in the meh category, although I'd probably try them, honestly, just to see. Tour Edge Exotics up here on the list now. In terms of irons, I've gotta admit, I have never really played Tour Edge Exotic irons, although I'd really love to try them. I've heard a lot of good things, and a number of people have uh, asked me here on the channel to do that. Uh, in terms of the driver, I think they had basically, it was almost a tie for first place in terms of best drivers this year. Their new driver, fantastic. I would absolutely buy Tor Edge Exotics. The value is really there with that brand. Um, so good stuff. Now, Tommy Armor. Tommy Armor, I just tried the new 845s here on the channel. Really liked those. I'm gonna go ahead and put those in the wood try category. Again, another golf club manufacturer that is reasonably priced and I always love that. Sub 70, Sub 70 is one where I'm just not so sure the designs are super unique and I don't necessarily see the appeal personally. I might try them, but I'm gonna go ahead and put them in the meh category for right now. Next up is another boutique putter brand, but it's becoming more and more popular. In fact, they were a big sponsor of the PGA show this year, Bet Nardi. I'm gonna put them in the would try category. Absolutely would try them. Really nice putters that they're making. Argolf, Argolf, another boutique brand. I tried their F, what was it? F22 irons last year. Correct me if I'm wrong. Their putters though, their putters are absolutely pure class. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna put them into wood buy here. We gotta make a few little adjustments there because that category is filling up quick. Nike Golf, Nike Golf. In fact, I think I have some Nike irons, the old progressives here next to me. Nike Golf, not making clubs anymore, obviously, but if you're looking for secondhand clubs out there in the market, I'm gonna go ahead and put them honestly into mech. There's really nothing all that great and the value is not there either. Hanma, Hanma is a very coveted brand by a lot of people. I tried their range of clubs a couple of years ago and to me, honestly, just was not impressed. I didn't think there was anything special there other than the looks, they look beautiful. They have this black and gold motif. That's pure class, certainly. You know, I'd probably put them somewhere between wood try and mech. Uh, I'll put them, I guess, right now in wood try. Maybe they'll come up with something that I really like soon. Taylor Made, Taylor Made has really started to improve what they're doing over there. With the range of the Sim 2, those are the current irons that I play, as well as the driver I played last year. The Stealth line, I think, is still extremely good, although I don't think it's that much better than Sim 2. So far, at least with the drivers, I'll be testing the irons on this channel. The P790 though, P770s, all of these irons they're putting out, their wedge line, they're gonna go up into pure class because TaylorMade has really, really started to up their A game. Dunlop is next. And again, this is a club that you might find in the secondary market. I'm gonna go ahead and put that in nah. Uh, you know, you can definitely do better at this point. Clubs that are five, 10 years old. I saw sets at Played Against Sports the other day for $99, for $199, $299 that were extremely good and um, I just don't see that uh, Dunlop has ever done anything all that exciting. Adams Golf, I'm gonna go ahead and put them in the mech category. They certainly had their heyday with their line of fairway woods back in the day, but since then they really haven't done anything. Ben Hogan, Ben Hogan I would definitely put in wood try, and here's why. Their driver, their most recent driver, I tried that at the PGA show this year, Really fantastic, I was very impressed with it. Their irons, I've never been able to hit their blades, but that driver, I would definitely try. Up next in our actual last brand that we're gonna put up here, Callaway Golf. Callaway, I have been playing the Rogue Driver for about the last three months or so, really like it. They have some good releases, they have some bad releases, so certainly I'd put them in the wood buy category because they make some fantastic clubs. I gotta move some of these around because we have too many there. 
Mizuno, I'm gonna move, you know what? Mizuno's getting bumped up to pure class. I mean, if you talk about irons, it does not get any better than that. And we needed to make room for Callaway there anyways. So there you have it, guys. What do you think? I'm sure there are people out there that disagree with me. I would love to hear that down in the comments, as well as if you agree. And we've got a great community who will continue that discussion down below as well. Speaking of community, this is your opportunity to join it just by hitting the subscribe button. It's free and it helps this channel grow and you'll catch all the videos as they're released. Guys, if you'd like to see me do this for golf technology, like we did it here today for golf clubs, let me know down below as well. I'll catch you back here in the next video. In the meantime, here are a couple good ones you definitely wanna check out. I'll see you next time in another edition of Let's Play Through.